For this video, we're going to be demonstrating a fourfold roto inversion axis. The reason we're going to concentrate on a fourfold roto inversion axis is it's actually a unique symmetry operation that cannot be described by combination of other symmetry elements. There are twofold, threefold, and sixfold roto inversions, also onefold roto inversions but they can be explained by a combination of other symmetry elements. For example, a one-fold roto inversion is the same thing as a crystal having center. So if you have a one-fold roto inversion, that crystal must also have center. So to simplify things, you wouldn't describe the one-fold roto inversion. But that's not true for the four-fold roto inversion. It's actually unique. And to demonstrate it, I'm going to show you using an octahedron, but mainly the tetrahedron. So both the tetrahedron and the octahedron, just to cover guys, an octahedron is an isometric form with eight pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is an octahedron. And a tetrahedron has four faces. Tetra meaning four, right? One, two, three, four, four similar faces. So both of these crystals have a fourfold rotational axis. For the tetrahedron, it's located if you grab opposite edges. Okay, so you're looking at um, this down triangle face. If I rotate it, we get an up triangle face, we get another down triangle face, so that's one, and then two. Okay, so you're probably thinking, hey, that's a twofold rotational axis, and you're quite right. Um, the fourfold rotational axis on a tetrahedron actually is parallel to the twofold rotational axis. But on the octahedron, it actually occurs parallel to the fourfold rotational axis. So, right here. So, that's one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's a fourfold rotational axis, but it's also a fourfold roto inversion. Okay. To show you what a fourfold roto inversion looks like, I'm going to demonstrate using the tetrahedron in this piece of paper that is cut to be the same shape of one of the crystal faces. Okay, so I'm going to grab my crystal by the equal edges. Okay, and for a fourfold roto inversion, you need to imagine your face. Okay, it's going to rotate 90 degrees. And then it's going to flip upside down and it's going to reappear on the opposite side. That's a roto inversion. And then I can take that face here. I can rotate it 90 degrees. Whoops. Sorry, my face. I rotate it 90 degrees. Obviously, it's not matching up to face here. But if I do the inversion, and again, inversion is just flipping the face upside down and making it appear on the other side. It lines up perfectly. Okay, now we can take that face. We can take that face and we can rotate it 90 degrees. Again, it doesn't line up, but if I invert it, flipping it upside down and making it appear on the opposite side, then you know you have a fourfold rotational, a roto inversion axis. The easy way to identify these is just to look at your crystal, look at the face, and say, do I see the same face? but upside down on a 90 degree angle. That's essentially it. It's this face that's then flipped upside down and it's reappearing on the opposite side. Let's look at the octahedron. For the octahedron, we actually get a little bit difficult because we have an equator around it. So here when we're doing the inversion, the same face that's on this side must appear on the bottom half. That's the inversion. Okay, so let's, oh good, it lines up nicely. Let's take this face here. Again, we're going to do a 90 degree rotation. Look, this actually matches up. Why is that? Well, it's because it's a fourfold rotational axis as well, right? But then we have to do the inversion. So we flip the face upside down and we get to the opposite side. And it lines up perfectly, right? Let's try that again. Rotate 90 degrees, okay, does line up. But it also lines up if we flip it upside down and we make it appear on the opposite side. So again, guys, an inversion is 
Oh, sorry, I'm not holding that very well. An inversion is going through the center of the crystal and reappearing on the opposite side. Let's try that one more time because I wasn't holding the crystal very good. So this face, we're gonna rotate it 90 degrees and then we're going to invert it, making it appear on the opposite side. So that's a four-fold roto inversion. They're only important for the tetragonal, for the um, isometric crystal systems. There are two-fold, three-fold, and six-fold roto inversions, but they're, they are not unique symmetry elements. They can be explained by combining rotational axes with mirror planes and or center. Uh, so you don't really need to on those. The only ones you need to really uh, pay attention to are the fourfold roto inversion.